The first lesson includes the basic use of the program without going into details, auto design, how to place the items from the catalog, how to change the colors and the textures of the items, but also of the construction materials, and how to select the compatible articles. We can write the dimensions we want for the room, knowing that they are in millimeters. And from auto design, we have um, one special environment which gives us the opportunity to set some options in our kitchen design. First, we will choose to place a window on the first wall. By uh, choosing this uh, sign, the plus, the category will uh, open. We will choose the design we want and after we will specify from left or from right exactly the distance we want to keep. Enter or pressing this arrow the window will be fixed on the wall. From here you can choose the wall you want to approach. In order to place a door, you will choose from uh, here the category you want by selecting the plus and after one of this design. You will specify again the distance you want to keep from the left or from the right side, always in millimeters, and by pressing enter for this arrow the item will be fixed. I will return on the first wall in order to set the hydraulic connections. So I will select this category, installations. I choose the symbol plus and after this connection. And again, I will specify from the left or from the right side exactly the distance I want to keep, always in millimeters. For example, if I want to keep a distance of 2 meters, I will write 2000. With enter or pressing this arrow, it will be fixed. On the same wall, I will put an electric connection which I will select from here. So I press the plus and after I will select the connection which is for refrigerators. For example, I will specify again the distance from left or from the right side of the wall by pressing enter or selecting this arrow, the item will be fixed on the wall. Now I will choose the second wall in order to continue by uh, placing another connection. For example, I can choose uh, for oven with hops or uh, this option individually. I will choose first um, now I will choose the second wall in order to continue by placing placing another connection. For example, I can choose for uh, oven and hops separately. For instance, I will choose uh, first the connection for hops and after for the ovens or the other option which is uh, together oven with hops. Forward 
I will uh, set the distance I want to keep from the left side or from the right side of the wall in millimeters by pressing enter and selecting this arrow. The connection will be fixed. I continue to place the connection for the oven. Again, I will set the distance from the right side, for example, by pressing enter or select this arrow, the item will be fixed. Having the mouse in the 3D room, you are able to see the room from another angle by pressing left click continuously and moving the mouse. By pressing the right click continuously and moving the mouse, you can approach some details from the project or you can see it from far away. In case you want to change some details in the project regarding the units, you will select the option Kitchen Details and Preferences. Here you can delete, for example, the dish machine. If your client, for example, doesn't desire it, or you can change the hood in order to be a metallic one. And after, for from the second um, window, you can uh, change another design. You will return to the option Kitchen. And by pressing Design, the program will generate some projects. The number of the projects is based on the dimension of the room and also the number of the walls you choose to design. Having bigger room and more walls, the program will generate more projects. If the room is smaller and it's only one wall you want to design, the program will generate less projects. This is the first project. The program gave us and as I said before we are able to see from the other angle by pressing continuously left click and moving the mouse and by pressing right click and uh, moving the mouse we are able to approach some um, details in the project. So if uh, we want forward to select another project that the program generates, we will select from here each one in order to see all of them. And after, you will apply. Once you apply the project, you can't return in the auto design option. Now we are in the main working environment of the program. As we just saw, we can see the project from another angle by pressing left click and moving the mouse. Another option is to select these arrows. in order to see from another angle or to approach some uh, details of the project. This window, I opened it from here by pressing these arrows. One of the most important window you will see is designing. Here we have the last button which uh, gives you the opportunity to recognize the unit you indicate. The buttons with orange color are activated 
and the green ones are deactivated. The compatible items will give you a list with the item you indicate before. Here, the items have different design. By selecting one of them, you will uh, automatically change it and it will be applied in the project. In the same way, we have um, the opportunity to change another unit, a base unit, by uh, indicating it. This list will give us another design. By selecting it, it will be automatically changed in the project. In the same way, you can change the sync, for example. So I will let the mouse on the sync. I will indicate it. And again, in this list, it will be marked some categories of the syncs. You will open the desirable one and after you will choose the design you want. And so on, you are able to change another elements from the project by indicating them and after from the list selecting it will be changed in the project. In the same way, we can change the electronic items such as hops, the hood, the microwave and the oven. Selecting the design you want, it will be automatically changed in the project. Regarding the color and the materials, you can change them from the material window. Using the same procedure, you indicate the material, for example, worktop, and after you select another color from the library, and after it will be changed in the project. Automatically, the library will be loaded. In the second field, uh, it, will be always, uh, it will be always specified the model which is now applied in the project. By using the same procedure, you can change the color of the plinth. So you will indicate this item and you will change it by selecting another color. In the case of tiles, you will use the same procedure by indicating the item, the library will be loaded and you will select the color you want to apply. If you want to apply a color which is not in the library, you can apply it with drag and drop. The option drag and drop is available in all the textures from the project. The same you will um, change the tiles for the floor. In the first part of the list, uh, you will have another um, textures if you want to approach another catalog of the program, because the program has all the catalogs included. And the list continue with the different kinds of uh, textures, uh, wood ones lots of uh, designs and colors. For the wall, you can change the color, even the texture, by um, selecting uh, the square, the small one, you will choose the color of the wall and the texture, it will be automatically applied. So the texture is in the bigger square. The list continues with the many wallpapers in uh, the case you want to approach, as I said before, another catalog of the program. If you want to change the color of the doors, you indicate one of the door and forward the library 
doors uh, will be loaded. Here you can search the door you want by um, writing the code and pressing enter. The program will uh, find it. In order to be added on the doors, you will select it. Another way is to write the color with the capital letters and forward enter and the program will load the list with all the shades of the color you wrote. So you will select it and after it will be applied in the project. If you want to select the doors by category, which is meaning the basic units, the wall units or the tall units. From here, by pressing this arrow of this button, you will select the category you want. And after, from the library with the doors, you will um, apply the color you want by selecting it or by um, writing the code here. Pressing the button escape, the category will be deactivated. And uh, another way is to approach this button, selecting it. You will see a window where you can uh, find um, the doors you want by selecting more details uh, in order to select uh, the supplier, uh, the material, the color of the doors you want to search, the grain if you want to have or to not have grains or to be vertical or horizontal, if you want to have shapes. So and after you will um, press the button search in order to see these models you select. You can see the project in uh, black and white pressing this button and if you select the arrow from the right uh, side of this button from here from the second option you can see the dimensions of the units or from the last option you can see the dimensions of the doors and drawers. If you select the first option, you are able to see details uh, regarding the units from um, uh, which are uh, placed on uh, the wall. So in order to see this detail, I will um, indicate the wall I want to see individual. And from this bottom, I will see it like this. So by pressing the first option from this bottom, I can see the distance between units which were uh, placed uh, on this wall. And if I want to change the dimension of the tiles, I can um, change it by pressing right click and from this option, edit tiles. I will select the red marker and I will move my um, my cursor, the mouse, and I will select the green marker in order to change the dimension of the tile and to bring it in this point where the wall unit ends. So I will select the green marker. With enter it will be fixed so in the same way I will change the height of the tile by pressing the right uh, click edit tiles I will choose this red marker and after I will select the green one and with enter I will fix it in order to return to see all the project I will select this button 
You can see the technical details for each unit by pressing right click on the unit you want to see these details and from this option technical specifications here you can see the unit in three steps. So the first step is uh, to see the expansion of the unit. First you choose the angle you want to, to see the unit by pressing continuously left click and moving the mouse and if you want to do zoom in and zoom out you will press continuously right click and you will move the mouse and after from here you can see the steps uh, of the expansion of the unit you have uh, details regarding the items of the unit in the list from the left uh, from the right side of this window Selecting each item, you will see it marked in the sketch or selecting it in the sketch, you will see it marked in the list. You can also print from here even the sketch, even the list. Another step is to see from here, from this option, uh, details regarding um, the frame, the box of the unit. Here you will see how uh, were uh, placed the sides of the unit. Uh, don't forget that uh, there are five different um, uh, five different options. You can set the sides of the unit. Here also you will uh, see the height of the unit and the weight, and also the height where the uh, shelf was fixed or the shelves uh, were fixed uh, regarding uh, how much, uh, how many shelves uh, the unit uh, has. Again, you have uh, the opportunity to print the list with the items, the sketch from, his, from uh, this uh, button. And another step in this uh, option, technical specifications, is to see only the front side of the selected item in order to see the doors, the drawers, if the unit has drawers, the knobs and the uh, hinges. And again, you can print even the sketch, even the list from this button. In the second part of the lesson, we will uh, see how we can um, approach the catalogs from the program in order to place item by item from the desirable catalog. So uh, we will um, specify the dimension of the room and after I will choose this option, new room. Uh, very important, you can, um, you can design even in 2D, even in 3D. I will start by uh, placing the items in 2D and after I will continue in 3D in order uh, you to decide after which uh, way is easier for you. First, I will, um, I will start with the construction materials. So from the first catalog, common use, I will choose structural elements and I will um, select an inner door and a window. So let's start with an inner door. We select the catalog, the subcategory by pressing the plus regarding the design we want and after we will choose the design. Select the button select and after we will approach the wall we want to place the item. So this is the wall. For example, I want to place this inner door. So I will approach the wall uh, with the mouse and within the interrupted lines, I will press left click once. So after, uh, if I will um, move the mouse, I will see that uh, the door is not fixed yet. In this stage, while the door is still moving, you can specify exactly the distance you want to keep from the left side or from the right side of the wall. 
Uh, also, you can specify the way uh, you want to open the door. So, uh, let's um, specify that uh, we want uh, to keep a distance from the right side, one meter in millimeters, 1000. And from this uh, option, you will uh, set uh, in which way you want to open the door. And after, um, by pressing enter or the button OK, the door will be fixed. In the same way, I will place the window. So I will go back by pressing escape and I will approach this catalog windows. I will uh, select the plus from the category I want to um, select the window and after I will choose the design I want. The button select and forward I will approach the wall I want to place the window. Uh, for example, the first wall. So on the first wall, I want to place the window. So in these interrupted lines which were created, I will do one left click. The window, um, I can see the window. So here in this stage, uh, while the window is still moving, I move the uh, mouse and is moving um, the window, I can uh, specify the distance I want to keep from the left side of the wall or from the right side of the wall. So let's um, set a distance from the right side, one meter and 20 centimeters in millimeters, 1,200 millimeters. And after by pressing enter or OK, the window will be fixed. Forward, I uh, want um, to change, for example, the dimension of this uh, window. In case you want to change the dimension, you will let the mouse on this item and uh, from uh, the, the and from this um, window, from the window items, you will change the value 1,200 uh, one, uh, in the value you want. For example, uh, smaller. And after by pressing enter or the button OK, it will be changed in dimensions. Now let's uh, place the units we want. So I will uh, go some step, steps uh, back by pressing escape and I will um, approach the catalog kitchen and wardrobe. From this catalog I will uh, continue by uh, selecting units, base units and let's start uh, also uh, it is very important to start uh, always with the corner units, even in the case of base units, even in the case of wall units. Start first with the corner units and after place the other items um, left and right sides of the corner units. So um, I will select this category corner units and uh, I will choose a corner unit from uh, by pressing the plus from the category I want. I will choose one of the units and after the button select. I will approach with the the mouse, the corner I want to place this unit and inside the interrupted lines I will do one left click. So the item uh, is fixed now and I can uh, see another unit I want to place in the project. I will continue to choose another unit, for example, uh, a sink one. 
I will choose the plus, I will choose the dimension I want to have this unit, and after the button select. I will approach with the mouse the wall I want to place the unit and in within uh, the interrupted lines I will do one left click. I can see the unit but it's not fixed yet so in order to fix it I will press another left click now I will choose another unit, for example, from the category Drawers. I go back by pressing Escape. And I will uh, choose from the category Drawers a unit. I will choose, I will select it uh, regarding the dimension I want to have. And after I will press the button Select. I will approach again with the mouse on the wall I want to place this item and within the interrupted lines I will do one left click. I can see the item but it's not fixed yet so I will fix it with another left click. I go back in the window items with escape I will go one step back and now I will continue to place another unit, for example, an oven. I will choose the category I want from the plus. I will select the item, forward the button select, and again I will approach the wall I want to place this unit. With the mouse I will approach the wall and within the interrupted lines I will do one left click. In order to fix it, I will do another left click. I will choose another category, for example, door with drawer. I will select the category which I want to keep. I mean uh, the height of the, of the items, of the units. So I will press the plus. And I will select the dimension I want uh, for this uh, unit. The button select. And I will approach with the mouse the wall I want to place this unit. Inside the interrupted lines I will do one left click. And, and I will fix this unit by pressing another left click. I will uh, choose now the other option, as I said uh, before, the 3D option, in order to see how we place the items uh, here. So I will uh, go back by pressing Escape. So I, um, I left uh, this category, door and drawer. And I will approach uh, another category, for example, drawers. From the plus, I will open the category and I will choose the dimension I want for this unit. The button select. And after, I will approach with the mouse the wall I want to place this unit. By pressing left click on the wall I can see the unit and after I will fix it with another left click. Now I will go back in the window items. I will uh, go back by pressing escape from this category drawers and I will go now um, to another category so I will press another uh, I will uh, press uh, once time uh, escape in order to go back and to select tall units, for example, uh, refrigerators. I will select the sign plus and I will select the, the item I want regarding uh, in which way I want to be opened, right or left. Again, I will press the button select 
and I will approach with the mouse on the wall. I will do one left click on the wall in order to see the unit and I will fix it with another left click in the project. Now I will go back in uh, the window items with escape I will go back as many steps uh, as, as I want and uh, after I will uh, choose another category wall units. I will approach uh, by um, uh, selecting the wheel uh, of the mouse. I will uh, approach this uh, space, the corner, uh, in order to place a corner unit from this category I selected so wall units I will select corner units I will choose the category I want by pressing plus by pressing this uh, sign plus and after I will choose the dimension of the unit select the button select and after I will approach uh, the corner I want to fix this item, this uh, unit. So I will do one left click on the wall and the unit is fixed. I will go back in the window items. I will go back uh, from this category by pressing escape. So I will continue to place um, from another category, uh, let's say a glass door. I will press the button, the sign plus regarding the height uh, I want to keep. And after I will choose the dimension I want uh, for this unit. The button select. And after I will approach with the mouse the wall with one left click on the wall, I will see the unit and after I will fix it with another left click. I go back in the window items with escape. I will go back from this category. I uh, leave it and I will go uh, to another category, for example, lift up door. I will uh, pay attention to the height in order to have the same height. So I will choose the sign plus in order to keep the same height, uh, 72. And I will choose the item I want, the button select. And after I will approach with the mouse the wall, I want to fix the unit. And with one left click on the wall i can see the unit and i will fix it with another left click in order to see the distance between this unit the wall unit and the tall unit uh, we have to go into d and if uh, i will uh, indicate with uh, the mouse this uh, space this free space I can see the distance of uh, 50 centimeters or 500 uh, millimeters, even here or here. I go back in 3D if I want to place it in uh, 3D and I will choose a wall unit with this dimension. Let's choose a simple one with the door. I will choose from the category height 72 by pressing the plus and I will choose as I saw as I um, as we saw before this um, dimension select and after I will approach the wall, I want to place this item by pressing left click on the wall in this 
free space, the item, uh, the unit uh, will be fixed. Now we can see um, our uh, units in the project. And if you want to add extra sites for the units from the from your project, you will uh, open the category of the unit uh, you want to to place this uh, extra site. For example, for this uh, tall unit, I will open the catalog tall units, and I will choose from this category. Uh, from uh, category sides, the sign plus regarding the height of the unit, and after I will choose one of these designs, the button select, and I will approach with the mouse the wall I want to place this uh, extra side. By pressing left click on the wall, the extra side. Um, it will be shown and after I will fix it on the unit with another left click. The same procedure it will be for the wall unit. So in this window, the items window, I will choose from the category wall units, sides, uh, regarding the height the unit has, I will uh, press the sign plus. I will choose one of uh, the designs I have, the button select and forward. I will do one left click on the wall near to the corner unit. I see the extra side, so I will fix it on the corner unit by pressing one left click. Regarding this uh, unit, I will choose from the category base units sides and after I will press the plus regarding the height I want to keep. I will choose one of the designs I have for the sides, for the extra sides, and after I will select the button select. I will approach the wall by pressing one left click on the wall. I can see the extra side of the unit and after I will fix it on the unit by pressing another left click. If you want to place hoods in your projects, it's very important this button to be activated. It will help you to see the markers. And also, by selecting the arrow from the right side of this button, um, pay attention all these options to be activated. So, one uh, category of uh, hoods, uh, you can see it from the wall units, hoods. This is the simple category. You will press the sign plus and you will see the designs. Another category from the wall units, we are still here in the same category. Uh, from here, we can see uh, another um, models, another designs regarding the um, traditional hoods. And if we leave this um, catalog, the units, we will uh, approach this one, appliances, and from here we can see the metallic, uh, metallic hoods. Regarding the dimension of the unit, this one has 90 uh, centimeters. We will open the category by pressing plus and we will select the design we want after the button select. But first, it is very important 
uh, in order to place it uh, more easy, this item, the hood, you can uh, choose to see the wall you want to place it individual. So you will let the mouse on the wall and after from this button you can see it uh, individually. So uh, I will choose the hood as I said before from metallic hoods. I will select by pressing plus the um, dimension I want to uh, keep and after I will choose the design. The button select and I will approach with the mouse the wall. With one left click on the wall I can see the hood and in order to be exactly fixed regarding uh, the oven, the, this item, I will uh, select the red marker which indicates um, exactly the place I want to fix it. So I will select the red marker and the item will be exactly uh, fixed in that point. Don't forget that you have the same options in order to change the colors of the units from this window, from the window materials. Uh, also, you can change the units themselves from this option or the appliances.